Hello, Gemini and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is going to be your weekly love reading for uh, September 8th to September 14th. Um, guys, I just want to start off with sending my love and prayers to everyone in the Bahamas, anyone who's got friends or families in the Bahamas, or anyone who is in the... Uh, track of that hurricane, okay, so sending all my love, all my prayers, um, it, it's just been devastating, I'm in southeast Florida myself, thankfully we didn't get hit, it passed us, but it's been a really crazy week, um, okay Gemini, so if you are currently subscribed with my channel, I just want to thank you so much for all the love and support you have shown, um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so, I <coughs> Excuse me. I choose uh, winners every single month. I give away free love readings, tarot cards, and oracle cards. Um, I announce the winners on the monthly readings. So if you're currently a subscriber of mine, please be sure to go onto my channel and check out your um, uh, monthly reading because the winners for August were announced in the sub in the sub I cannot talk in the September reading. Okay. Um, guys, I am taking personal readings. If you would like to book me for a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Um, it is $10 off your first reading with me. Um, and you could also visit my website at uh, www.thetarotoflight.com. Okay. The deck that I am using today is so gorgeous. It's called, called the uh, Wisdom Tarot Deck. It is number 55 in the description box below. There is also an Amazon link in case you are interested in purchasing, okay? And guys, you know how this works. If it resonates, great. And if it doesn't resonate, it's just not your message. These are collective readings. They're not meant for everybody. If you would like more clarity and guidance on your own personal situation, you can always uh, book me for a personal reading, okay? Alright guys, so let's see what we have going on for the second week of September. So I'm showing here a soulmate connection. A connection that's abundant in love, in money, finances, you know, sharing a house together, sharing a car together. We have the temperance card, so we could be dealing with a Sagittarius, and we have the ten of coins. So we have a soulmate connection. We have somebody that balances you out, okay? And I feel like the, the connection is very fruitful. It's very abundant in love and finances. Um, Gemini, you guys may be talking, um, you guys may be talking about marriage, or you may feel like this is a soulmate twin flame connection, okay? Um, we do have the Six of Swords here. So the Six of Swords is a general indicator of um, leaving a toxic situation and moving to more peaceful waters. But honestly here, I'm seeing that what you guys are doing is getting in this boat and going on vacation and getting away from the problems of the world. That's what I see happening here. Because um, with the King of Swords here, we, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have someone who just wants to cut all the crap out of their life. With the Seven of Coins, I'm showing, you know, a distraction. You guys are, you know, just looking for a distraction. Maybe you and your person are going to be going away um, someplace new, okay? Some of you may even be going away on a honeymoon because we have a new beginning and we have the Hierophant. We could be dealing with um, an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Cancer. Um, we have a new beginning and we have the Hierophant. So for a select few of you, um, you may be going on your honeymoon. Maybe you guys were just married. And for some of you, I feel like going away on vacation, going away with your person may bring you guys closer together. Maybe this person is about to pop the question while you guys are away on vacation. Okay. So we have the magician, the nine of wands, the seven of swords, and the moon. So things, okay, so this is weird. So I, it starts off really, really amazing, 
okay? And then with the magician, the nine of wands, the seven of swords, and the moon, things just get kind of weird. Like you go from black to white. There's not even a gray area here. So the magician is an indicator of... Um, Generally, it's an indicator of prayer or manifestation. But when we have it with the Nine of Wands, this is telling me that um, I feel like someone's keeping a secret. Someone's putting up a wall to keep a secret here, Gemini. So that's a little confusing to me. And with the Seven of Swords, we have, and the Moon here, you feel like somebody is keeping something from you. We could be dealing with a Pisces. You feel like someone's lying to you. You feel like there's something that you don't know about. And I feel that this new beginning in love that's taking place, this, this new beautiful feeling of closeness and, and connection and soulmate energy and commitment that you're feeling is quickly heading towards this, this brick wall, this five of coins. It's quickly heading towards you feeling very lonely or fearing that you're going to lose your person. So I don't know what happens between here and there. Maybe you find something or you see something that sets off your anxiety, Gemini. But you're going from this beautiful, you know, close connection. Like you guys might even be going away, you know, for the weekend. And then you get back and it's like you hear something, see something, something triggers something here like you see just something happens and the whole relationship ends up taking this nasty turn okay we have the lovers card here and the knight of wands which is telling me that you know this may be a third party situation someone may be moving passionately towards someone else and choosing between lovers with the leo sagittarius and aries energy here we have the ten of swords we have uh, a painful ending, ugly things being said, being stabbed in the back. We have the death card, something ending and something new beginning. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have the world card here, something coming. By the way, this is my favorite card of the deck, isn't it gorgeous? Um, we have the world card here, which is a karmic cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Yeah, we have someone here working. We have someone here really putting in the work to take a leap of faith and start a new beginning. We have someone here that wants to heal a situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is an indicator of if you're not happy about something, um, this wheel is going to turn in your favor, even if it creates upheaval, okay? Even if it creates upheaval to bring you towards what you want. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Coins, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Gemini? So this is a committed energy. And with the Seven of Wands, something tells me here that you are blocking out reconciliation from this person or, or from this commitment. You're blocking out reconciliation. You're not trusting this person anymore. I don't know what you're going to see. I don't know what's going to happen, but it goes from zero to 60, black to white. I mean, it's just like, it's going to, I'm, I'm really shocked that the tower card didn't come out because talk about sudden changes. Okay. Um, we have the queen of cups, the queen of cups here. I, I'm sorry, the eight of cups out of nowhere. There's just emotional disconnection. We have the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Pentacles. You go from being like almost getting married or maybe somebody proposing to you to single. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is all about being single. Yeah, your intuition, you, you found out about a secret here with the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces Energy. You realize that your person has been giving to one per. you know, the Three of pen. I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles for me, is more of a third party energy than the the three of swords the three of cups the three of pentacles because in the traditional rider weight the six of pentacles there's three people in that card there's one person that's handing all their coin to one person that's begging on the floor and the other person is left out in the cold okay so this is a huge indicator of a third party situation and as you could see here one person has been left waiting yeah one person has just kind of been left waiting um, yeah, Gemini, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm really have to say that I'm shocked that the tower hasn't come out because it seems like this just goes from, it changes so quickly. It's like you're in this beautiful relationship.
I feel like you guys even go away just to get away from things. Um, I, I feel like someone even pops the question here while you guys are on vacation. This is a new beginning. And look at this person handing them the cup. Like, I feel like someone even literally proposes to you. And then you get back home and something happens where you realize that this was all one big fat lie. All right, Gemini, I'm going to take this into the extended. Um, I'm going to, uh, we'll do a reading to see what the outcome is going to be between you and your person. And then we'll pull some oracle to see what clarity and guidance we can get for you. What an insane reading. It just goes from like zero to none. Like it's crazy. Um, all right, guys. Well, if this resonates, please be sure to like. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading to get more clarity and guidance on the situation, my information is in the description box below. And the link for Vimeo will be in the description box below. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the extended. Take care.